Welcome back! New features, new devlog. This time, join me on a little excursion, literally, and come along on my game's player journey. It goes by the name of OnTrack, by the way, so let's take a look at where we are starting. Each level is a different railway network, and all you have to do is to make sure your little trains end up in a depot of the same color. However, the game currently doesn't have any properly defined player progression and player journey. For example, nothing will happen if you lose a level, you can just continue playing. But then if you do well, there is also no way to progress to a new level and your high score is not recorded. Also, the game has a bunch of train types with different properties, but they should unlock one after another as you progress through the game. So in short, OnTrack doesn't have a player journey. Let's build one. And along the way, there will be obstacles there will be tasks taking longer than expected. There will be bugs. And there will be definitely snack breaks. All right, let's go. Our first destination is the game over bench. Okay, not too complicated. Let's take a look. From this new menu screen, you can now retry the level or go back to the main menu. And as you can see here, it shows your final score. Which brings us to our next travel destination, High Score Haven, somewhere further up. So I already have a basic score display up here in the corner. Now I'd like to unlock the next level if you reach a level specific score. For now, I've decided not to bother you with a distracting mid-game pop-up when you reach that score, but the end screen should offer you to proceed to the next level if you've unlocked it. So I tried to record on top of the tower, but there was a bit of a breeze. So that didn't really result in any usable audio. But anyway, the point here is, once you've reached a level unlock score, you can just tap a button to go to the next level. So of course the game should also remember beyond your current play session which levels you've unlocked and keep track of your high scores. So I need a way to permanently store game state across gaming sessions. Time to head over to the Game State Garage. Okay, welcome to the Game State Garage. Let me show you the level select screen. You can scroll through the list. You see a high score for each unlocked level and locked levels are still grayed out. For my level names, I didn't want to go with the traditional boring standard choices like, you know, New York, Tokyo, Sydney, London. So instead, I randomly picked small cities or villages from all over the world to use those. Anyway, back to saving state. I've created this serializable persistent state class and I keep an instance of it in my static save manager, which can load and save that state from and to storage. For now, I just use a simple binary formatter, so maybe I'll come up with something more sophisticated. Or maybe not. Yeah, probably not. I'm lazy. And by the way, let me stop here real quick. I have a question. Do you find the Unity UI building system logical and intuitive? Because I'm trying to build UI that works for a variety of mobile resolutions and aspect ratios, but whatever I do, even for the simplest things, the UI system just never does what I think it will do. And it's been a huge pain, even making me not want to work on the game at times. But hey, I'm glad it's kind of working now. I also know there's a new UI builder system in the works, so maybe I'll look into that sometime. So now that you have to start out at level one and then unlock the following levels, it would be nice to also unlock other new features and mechanics along the way. So welcome to the unlock trail. All right, in order to unlock certain things, depending on the player's progress along the unlock trail, and to change some other things on a per level basis, I've created a scriptable object class for level parameters. For example, this determines for a given level the score you need to unlock the next level, how likely it is for each train type to spawn, and which goodies are available to you. 
By the way, I use a nice little asset called Serializable Dictionary that lets you define your own dictionary types that you can then assign in the inspector, which Unity doesn't support out of the box. Oh, and I just mentioned goodies. They're little events the player can trigger and I introduce them in one of my recent devlogs. For example, the emergency brake goodie stops all trains for a few seconds and the point boost goodie will give you a temporary point boost. So just a quick update on these. We now have cooldowns as you can see here. So I think the game is slowly coming together. I'm very glad I created and tested a release build on Android now, mostly just to make this video really, but anyway, that brought up a few tricky memory issues only on the Android release build. But I fixed that now, only took like days of debugging. And we've arrived. The basic player journey for OnTrack is complete. That's it for this devlog. See you next time.